Well, hello everyone, this is Wilson Cole. And recently I did a webinar on just different collection techniques and primarily how to write the perfect collection letter. And a lot of folks were attending to join, a lot did join, some did not. So I wanted to do a recap for everyone. I still recommend that you watch the full webinar because it kind of goes down deeper in it. But I wanted to give you the five ingredients on a collection letter. And number one, put in the exact dollar amount. So when you send out, you don't reference this invoice or that invoice. You, if you're going to reference invoice, you, know, you say invoice one, two, three, and the amount of $15,000. So give them a specific dollar amount that they would need to pay. Number two, give them an exact date on when that payment would need to be made. And, you know, quite frankly, I think you need to do this on the invoices. And this is kind of a, I'm digressing a little bit, but if you want to speed up your cash flow, instead of putting net 10 days or net 30 days, put the exact date. You'll get in checks about half the time that you typically do, especially if your clients pay you slow. So if it's, you know, November 5th, instead of putting net 10 days, you would put due November 15th. That way it gets keyed into their system on the due date versus, you know, 10 days from the time that it finally makes it to accounts payable. So that's going to speed up your cash flow, but always put a specific date. The other thing that I want you to do is to basically give them a way out to hopefully reduce your risk. You know, basically say something along the lines of the $15,000 is due. I need this resolved by November 15th, or I need for you to call so we can make suitably agreeable, mutually agreeable resolution. That way, let's assume that they've, they're getting in funds on the 25th. And there's just no way they can pay the $15,000. Maybe they can pay 10, maybe they can pay five by the 15th, but maybe they say, okay, I pay five now and then five at the end of the, uh, or you know, the balance at the end of the month. I would be okay with that. Get the five now, because if you have to turn them over to collection, I can assure you, you'd rather have me chasing 10,000 than 15,000 because you're not going to be paying the fee on the funds that you've already collected. Stray away from discounting your invoices. That's, that's never a good thing. So give them the ingredients again is give them an exact dollar amount, give them an exact date. Third is to give them an out. And then also what you can do is send it certified. Certified is kind of sometimes a pain in the backside. You may have to go to the post office or worst case, send it FedEx or something that requires a signature. And everybody says, well, so I'm not going to spend 15 bucks or 10 bucks or 20 bucks or what have you, you know, sending something out overnight or certified. I can assure you that that five to 10 bucks that you'll be spending will save you considerably more because, you know, we're going to clip you for 25% of the fee on anything that we, we do. So send it out certified. I like certified better than I like certified better than overnight. And it's also cheaper, but it just kind of brings it up to a level and gets their attention. And then the fifth ingredient is almost a lack of an ingredient. And that is don't follow up with emails. Don't follow up with phone calls saying, Hey, did you receive it? I'm dead serious. Next week by the 15th, send out your letter have it professional. Don't threaten to you know, burn down their house and kill their dog. But just, you know, in a professional way, we've got to have payment by this date or we're going to or need a call back to have a mutually agreed resolution. If not, we're going to move on with all legal options. I wouldn't say that they're going into collections or that they're, you know, you're going to sue them. The fear of the unknown is your biggest asset. So let them know that you're going to look at other options and then, you know, send it certified and then don't follow up. The strategic pause of, of silence can be very effective. And in my opinion, it's not used nearly enough by our clients when they're trying to send out collections or send out collection letters and get things wrapped up themselves. So hopefully, you know, realistically, if our clients use that collection letter, they would probably reduce about half of what would have to come over to us. But it also identifies the ones that are just in a short-term cash crunch and the ones that need to be turned over to collections. Now, if you do have one that you sent out a demand letter to and, and you still need help collecting, click on the link or either go to our website at staffingdebt.com and book a 30-minute free consultation to discuss the issues of your case with myself or one of our staff attorneys. 
and we can certainly go over the collectability of the case. And keep an eye out because we're increasing the amount of webinars that we're doing. And like I said, the webinar on the collection letter went into a, a much more detail, but this was a general overcap of it. But I do recommend that if you can watch the webinar next time you see it, probably be worth the, uh, the time invested. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hey guys, it's Wilson again, and this video was brought to you by Adams, Evans, and Ross. And if you like the video, please make sure that you click on the subscribe button and also like the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below as well. If you'd like to learn more about our company, please visit our website at staffingdebt.com. And also remember, if there's no collection, there's absolutely no cost at all.